Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to set up the materials for any of the 3D models that you imported from external sources like the OBZ FBX in Blender. Just for example, this there, you import it into Blender, Blender 4, Blender 4.0, and then at the same time, you have all of these materials the base color materials, roughness, the normal map, etc. How are you going to set up all of the materials properly so that for all of these maps, like the roughness, normal, and base color will be on your 3D model, like this, with PBR? How are we going to set up the materials in Blender 4.0? So start from now, I'm going to show you the step by step. First, I'm going to close this. And everything start from the beginning. And then I have a 3D model, the OBZ. And as demo, I'm going to just create a general project. Everything start from the beginning. It will be start from here. I press A and press delete button to delete everything. Next, I'm going to import the OBZ before the texture. The OBZ is just a 3D model. Click File, Import OBZ with Front, and I will import from here. I copy the folder destination location and then I paste it here. Control V and press Enter. Then I have to import this OBZ file. The scale as demo, I'm going to put it as 0 0.001. Because as usual, the OBZ file imported is always very big. So the scale, I just put it as small as possible. Then now you can see this 3D model is here. I press S to make it bigger. Right. So now if you turn on the texture here, you can see it doesn't have any of the materials yet. You check the material from here, it doesn't have. The first step, just delete everything click minus here to make sure you clear everything then to set up all of the materials the textures like base color the normal and the roughness the first step you have to go to the shading click the shading you can see it doesn't have anything here then you back to the layout here under the material you click plus new the base color you click and choose the image texture the first step, just open from here. Open from the folder. This is the base color. We copy the folder destination locations. And then click and control V to paste and press enter. Then the first step, just import the base color. All right. Once you import the base color, you can see the texture, but it doesn't have the normal map and the roughness yet. Alright, so this is to turn on the texture, always remember here you have to turn, turn it on. The next step, just go to the shading. You can see some of the, some, some of the setup already there, the base color. The base color already set up. Click the empty area so that you can drag this further away. And then, give some space. You can see base color, you already have the texture. It is proven from here, the base color is already set it up. The next is the roughness. You can just check whatever you whatever resources that you have for your external 3D model. Now you have the metallic, you have the roughness and normal. So now we start from the roughness to drag, drag and drop to here. Then Sorry. Roughness, you drag and drop to here. Then, then type image texture. You can see image texture colors. You just choose the first one. Then put it here. Next, just open. Alright. Just click open. Then Copy the folder destination location that you have the, the roughness map. Right click, right click to copy, then click Control V to paste and press Enter. So for this time, 
you have to choose a roughness map the roughness all right now you already have the roughness the roughness map here just have to check if you take it away and you connect it you can see the difference the roughness next is the normal one of the very important map that you should have right the normal drag it as well then type image texture choose the image textures color then click open at the same location choose the normal map now you can see after you have the normal map everything the light reflection already different this is without normal map you connect the normal map you can see the effect this is really amazing really awesome you have the, the normal map the last one is the metallic the metallic you can find it from here is there any metallic it doesn't have it. so actually you, you no need to set it in metallic it doesn't matter all right the metallic is here finally as i found same as just now just drag the metallic then image texture click then open same place Control v and press enter the metallic map is here but actually no much difference whether you connect the metallic or you don't connect it it is just a black image so now you can see after you finish setup all of these materials you back to the layout you can see this 3d model already become pbr you can see the texture with the normal map with the roughness everything look very awesome in pbr the physical base reflection all right now you can see it is really awesome all right next just save your blender project file if you want to export as FBX file, export the FBX file with all of the texture. You just click File, Export, FBX. The path mode you have to choose Copy, then turn it on here. And as demo, I'm going to, to save it on my desktop. Click Export FBX. Now we just go to check our desktop. All right, it is here. I double click to check. You can see the exported FBX file already have this, but you can see some some abnormal parts. We can solve this. Just go to. Just click the three D model and go to the modifier. Add a modifier here. You type triangulate. Apply the triangulate click here to apply it then click again file export fbx you export again like anti untitled to good copy make sure the path mode you choose copy and and highlight this so that all of the material texture embedded inside the fbx file you export then check again now everything should not look normal you can see everything is in pbr and everything look normal it is really awesome together with the normal map and just look at your blender this 3d model with the materials is really awesome all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to set up the materials texture for your 3d models that you imported from outside with the diffuse base color map with normal and roughness and always remember in your blender click file external data you have to take here automatic pack resources so that all of these materials were automatic embedded inside this blender file and save this blender file and as demo i will save it on my desktop i click save so now you, you can see this blender file is 19 point is 13.9 MB and all of this material texture is already embedded inside even if you delete this all of this you still can have 
your texture inside the Blender file. It's really independent of the file source. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharings, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy happy 3D modeling, 3D animations and 3D game developing. See you.